Hey guys, Ray from Love you RV. So today I'm going to show you some mods I've been working on in uh, my truck toolbox. <laughs> Putting a little power system actually in the toolbox out of spare uh, parts that I've acquired. So not too long ago I did a mod where I used utilized the solar panel that I have attached to the top of the toolbox and I had a spare charge controller. So what I was doing was I was using that and I ran the cable over to this 12 volt port that's actually for my DC to DC charger and that way I was keeping my uh, truck batteries topped up. reason I wanted to do that is I'm testing a couple dash cams from Thinkware and they both have parking monitors so while the truck is off they draw power. seems to be around a little bit less than an amp but it runs down the truck batteries so what I decided to do because I came about spare lithium battery, um, a battery I reviewed called a Reliabat, which actually is a self-heating battery. So I had it and I also got myself a new inverter. I bought myself a 3000 watt inverter for the for the RV. So I came with my old inverter is a 1000 watt inverter. So suddenly I had enough uh, spare parts kicking around that I could actually make myself a system to, to use. So it's in the truck box. Let's have a look at it. Here we go. Got a 100 watt uh, Renogy solar panel. I used to use this for my ground panel system. And then in here, that's my generator. So I've cordoned off this area from my little system here. So down here is that Reliabat battery, 100 amp hour lithium battery. And then I have this, uh, it's an SRNE 40 amp MPPT controller. So it's coming out of that uh, solar panel into the controller. Now the solar panel, I can also, it's got some connections in there. I can also add more panels to it, say on a ground array in case I wanted to charge this battery up faster. But basically it's just going to sit here and kind of trickle charge this battery, keep it topped up. And then you can see here where this little fuse is, that's a, a wire that's going back through into my truck cab and then it's going along under the floors, popping up, and it's attached to the, the wires that keep my uh, parking monitor for my dash cams going. So what I've done is I've just put a three amp fuse in there to protect that wire in case of a short or anything. Over here, I put a 40 amp fuse just to protect anything from the solar control or wiring. And I also have a terminal block fuse under here. And that's gonna be, right now it's 200. I'm gonna I'm ordered a 125 amp fuse for that. Cause that's powering my 1000 watt inverter here that I've mounted up here. So if I wanna plug something in, um, I can just turn this on. And I think one of the things I'm gonna utilize this for is often when we camp in the bush or the desert, we have problems with pack rats or squirrels getting into the truck engine compartment. So I carry a, some uh, lights here. So I'll be able to plug that in and my lights will come on. I can put those string of lights under the truck or string of lights under the cab and I'll just run off of this battery and then the next day it'll charge up. So sort of just a, a way to make use of uh, extra parts that I have kicking around. Also a good way to kind of long-term test this battery. Uh, it's also a, a self-heated battery, so that'll be interesting if I get into some sub-zero weather. It'll be interesting to see how that thing works, be able to give it a, a good test, and also keep testing this little uh, solar controller. And because that's a lithium battery, I don't have to worry about it venting or anything like that. So when I travel, I'll just... Uh, put this blanket in here. I just keep a blanket and some emergency blanket or something I can put down if I need to crawl under the truck. Just an old blanket, put that on top, keep everything secure in there. Nothing will move around and then nothing will get shorted out or anything dropping things on it. This battery also has Bluetooth functionality so I have the app here and that way I can check out the, the percentage charge and how uh, much current it's drawing, that sort of thing, and also the temperature of it. So you can see right now it's a really sunny day, so everything is 100% charged, voltage is about 14 volts, 
and uh, 20 degrees Celsius right now. Pretty cool. Anyway, just a little bit of the tinkering I've been up to this summer. Really enjoying our time here once again in Campbell River with our uh, beautiful view of the estuary. Till next time, Ray from Love You RV. Cheers, folks.